Hello neighbors, in Korea right now, all of the colors are blossoming. You can see like deep purple, deep reds, uh, all the shrubs basically releasing all their pollen. And besides the beautiful color, one thing that I really enjoy about spring and summertime in Korea is there's a lot of noodle dishes, cold noodle dishes that come to market. In Korea, we really like Bibimguksu. Bibimguksu is mixed noodles. The most popular version is a very spicy one. And in the past, we've also showed you how to make one with soy sauce. This one is really good. It's savory, slightly sweet. And then you can add um, some protein on top, which I'm gonna do today as well. But today I found a recipe on Naver from a, a channel called Tuk Tuk Tuk, and uh, it was really good. I think even better than what we made before. Uh, she did a phenomenal job. So this is non-spicy pibimbuksu. Try it at home. First things, we're gonna do about half an onion, cut it very thin. These onions, we're gonna remove its harshness by soaking it in water, cold water, a tablespoon of rice vinegar, and you see they're thin. It's nice, we'll add them in. Very good, we'll let this hang for just a little bit. All right, and then we have one cucumber in Korea, they have little bumps, so I'm gonna just go over them really quickly. And yep, it is the golden hour in Korea, got a nice ray of sunshine coming through the windows. I'm gonna cut them at a slight angle so we get long slices. Maybe I'll use half the cucumber, and then we'll just julienne them. This is just for garnish, that looks good. Now we're gonna need a few things for our uh, grilled pork belly. We need half tablespoon of minced garlic, two cloves should be enough. And then I'm gonna need a little piece of ginger, so I'm gonna just skin this off. And now let's work on our delicious pork. We're gonna work some tepe samgyeopsal. I just love our new uh, ceramic cookware set. This is from Modori. Cooking on a white background, you can see the food easier and it just pops. Heat on. Today we're using samgyeopsal. I'm sure you're familiar with that term. That's the Korean term for pork belly. Tepe just means it's sliced extra thin. It's perfect for stir fries. We're gonna add in around 200 grams. Beautiful. And once a lot of the red is gone, we can add in the garlic. Half tablespoon of garlic in. Get that garlic in there. To this, we're gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce, followed by two tablespoons of mirin. This one, two, beautiful. Mix this around. Then one tablespoon of oligodong syrup, followed by one teaspoon of oyster sauce. Tons of good flavors in here right now. Mix this around, and then just a little bit of ginger across the top. Ah, it looks like it's stuck to the grate. It's all right. Mix that in now. That's it, y'all. Take a look. Looks delicious, right? Let's give this a little sample. Oh my God. I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of black pepper. Let's place a paper towel down. All right, there's a fair amount of grease here, so we could just let that absorb it. And then this is gonna be our topping. Right before we move to the noodles, let's drain our onions. Let's do our noodles next. I'm having a little bit too much fun grabbing these pots. Fill it up with some water. Quite a few number of people have emailed us to carry a modori on gochujar. Now, I love this. The only thing to pay attention to is that when you turn on the flame, right, if it's too high, it's gonna burn this underside. So they usually recommend uh, that you don't keep it on while cooking and only attaching it to move. So that could be a little bit cumbersome to you, but uh, you know, these pots are amazing. So besides that, just get used to offloading, onloading. All right, and we'll let this beluga well go. Actually, we're gonna put in about a tablespoon of vinegar. Right, and then at the Korean market, you can ask for some somyeon. It's basically Korean style thin wheat noodles. This one is called chungmyeon, which means about a medium sized thickness. Um, I actually like these medium sized more than somyeon for this, but it's up to you, somyeon or chungmyeon, it doesn't matter. But the size of a quarter for a one person portion. Once it's boiling, Katie. Nice. Oh, you like to do the little. It's gonna start foaming up, then we're gonna pour some cold water, let it come down, and we're gonna repeat this process around three times, and then the noodles should be cooked. Just in case, before you throw out the water, you should taste it to see if you need a little bit more time. Take the beluga by the lip, empty it out, cool it down. All right. All right. Let's make the sauce, guys. We're gonna do three and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. Three and a half. Two tablespoons of sugar. That's one. Katie's taking the noodles. 
two tablespoons, a little bit of tartness, one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar. That's one and a half, half tablespoon. Give this a little mix up. We're gonna add perilla oil at the end. Two tablespoons of toasted perilla oil. Now, if you don't have perilla oil, you can get away with sesame oil, but perilla oil does have a lighter texture than sesame oil, in my opinion. Make sure you whisk thoroughly to get everything well incorporated. Then we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna take our noodles. We're gonna take a little bit of our sauce. You don't have to add everything. Mix it up. Is this just one person portion? Yeah. Gonna Where's add. Yours? <laughs> Where's yours? <laughs> We're gonna add a little bit of the onions. Give it a little taste. See how that tastes, Katie? Mm, tastes awesome. really good, right? Mm. All right, then we're going to, you can add a little bit of more onions if you like. Ah, I, like I love the, the taste of the perilla oil. Yeah, let's get our uh, plate, Katie. Oh my God, we almost forgot the meat. We should mix a little bit of it our meat. Good without the meat. We should add a little bit of our meat. Mommy so check. flavorful. And then please note that I didn't add all the sauce. The sauce will be enough for uh, two servings. But I just made one noodle at a time because I like to cook my noodles fresh. I didn't know you, you were going to eat this. I thought you might want <laughs> something else. <laughs> Excuse me. And then of course you can add a little bit of the leftover sauce if you like. Let's get a little bit of fresh onions on top, right? Everything's about the visual. These onions are not spicy. Yeah, I put it in vinegar. A lot of cucumber to one mm. side, right? And then Kinda don't... Kinda looks like naengmyeon. Yeah, and then don't forget our delicious pork belly. Did you do some special seasoning? Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> to one side. And then you forgot something. That's something all right that's it and then just a little bit more top of black pepper on the side here over that at the very end we get a little bit of that leftover sauce that you mixed it with you put it over and then this is how you start a restaurant in seoul <laughs> and ta-da there it is ta my neighbors that's the top side view and then katie somehow there's something with this yugi bowl that makes it look more delicious yeah like more korean probably reminds you of naengmyeon right mm. all right mix it up you always tell me off for not mixing it well off mixing it up like uh, spaghetti no uh -oh. look who's telling who off wow. oh is it Oh my gosh, you did a perfect seasoning. Mm. Oh, there's something about that perilla oil. It's different than using sesame oil, right? Mmm. Mmm, awesome. Mmm. And then, because you put these onions. Yeah. And it's, then the cucumber. It's refreshing, right? It's like really refreshing and it feels really lighthearted. <laughs> Mm. Bon, bon appetit! That like slight kiss of perilla oil. Kiss? Like a little peck. Delicious. I mean, if you don't have perilla oil, mm -hmm. you have to have it. <laughs> I mean, there's no point of making this recipe if you don't have perilla oil. That's so passive aggressive. It's like, if you don't have it, then <laughs> you have to have it. You know, this is non spicy, but we have some ojinga. The squid that uh, that was on sale, Katie was making. Well, yeah, she's into it. Maybe I make that on the side. We can eat as panchan really? really quickly. Yeah. I bought some ready-made hot sauce, or not hot sauce, but the ready-made marinade. And pali pukumuka. Pua. Panchan ready. Wow, that looks delicious. Katie, you want to try this one? I finished that bowl of noodles mm. and then I'm scooping up some rice. 
우유가 집에서 한 양념만큼은 안 맛있어. 그러네. <웃음> 음. 이거 a little bit. It's a little bit too sweet. 음. Mm. It feels too general. The sauce. Yeah, it is very general. <웃음> This is the problem with store-bought stuff is they try to appeal to the masses and they don't. They take away the kick. We need the kick. Our recipe is much better. Mm, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, this is fast. Enjoy, guys.